Hi, and thank you for being here today. I'm Kiana Hassani, a research scientist at Allen Institute for AI. And today I'm going to talk about different perspectives on how we can understand and manipulate 3D data for a variety of tasks and applications. First, let's address why 3D understanding and structure is important in embodied AI. At the most fundamental level, interacting with objects, particularly articulated ones, demands a detailed understanding of these objects. Moving up a level, embodied agents not only need to comprehend individual objects, but also have a spatial have an understanding of spatial relationships between them. At the highest level, leveraging the benefits of scale and diversity is key to improving embodied AI's performance. Articulated objects, such as tools or toys, consist of multiple rigid parts connected by joints. And to truly understand these objects, we need to have a 3D comprehension of how these parts move and how to interact with them. Discovering 3D part uh, geometry and joint parameters of unseen objects is a crucial skill in robot manipulation. For manipulating an object, a robot needs to recover objects articulation structure, including objects part reconstruction, uh, segmentation, and joint estimation. Acquiring supervised data for articulation learning is a very challenging task. Our approach um, instead is to intelligently interact with an object to identify its parts and joints in a self-supervised manner. And by stabilizing one part of the object and initiating movement, movement in the other, we induce meaningful articulation that results in uh, discovering the parts of the object. Our goal is to infer informative multi-step interactions given an articulated object and generate the articulated 3D CAD model of the object over time by first inferring the push and hold action and then inferring the parts um, reconstruction and joint parameters, we are able to construct a full 3D articulated CAD model. So given a raw RGB point cloud, we infer and execute informative actions to construct the articulated uh, CAD model, which includes the um, 3D part meshes and the joints. Um, we have four components, an interaction policy that chooses informative actions that move the parts, a joint estimation module that predicts joint parameters and kinematic constraints of the articulation, and a part aggregation module that tracks part discoveries uh, in a sequence of um, interactions, and finally, the pipeline for constructing the uh, articulated CAD model. Our results show that the model uh, that is only trained in on simulation using our approach can uh, work well with the real world uh, objects as well. Um, understanding the movement and interaction of individual objects can open up many fascinating research avenues. But it's focused on an individual object and the agent also needs to have a spatial awareness of the environment in order to be successful. Um, let's look at an example like object nav. The task is to, uh, for an agent to navigate to a class of objects within the scene. This task requires a spatial awareness of the environment in order to enable the agent to have a collision-free um, and efficient navigation in this uh, scene. Uh, much of the work in our field has been conducted in simulated environments, and we have observed um, that uh, large-scale state-of-the-art uh, state models such as Proctor can excel within these simulations. But there is a noticeable performance gap uh, when these models are applied to real-world scenarios, and this discrepancy poses a significant challenge. The critical question here is, how can we improve these agents with a 3D spatial awareness that effectively generalizes from a simulated environment to the physical world. We propose a paradigm shift. Rather than pushing for universally generalized agents, we should aim to specialize them for their target domain, equipping them with a high level 3D understanding of their respective environments. Uh, we devise an approach that effectively uses um, smartphone scans of a target environment to produce a template 3D layout of that scene. And leveraging this layout, we procedurally generate variations of the environment that we can train our models on. And um, it leads to a notable performance improvement in real world applications. 
Um, Fondoprox significantly improves performance across a variety of testing environments, uh, notably in the complex multi-room layouts. You can see a, um, a demonstration that shows um, our AI agent that has been only trained in a simulated environment is able to successfully and efficiently navigate to a sofa. Um, while understanding specific structures like houses can optimize our navigation, um, imagine the power of scaling this understanding. And I would like to talk about that next. So um, this is the scale of 3D data sets that is currently uh, widely used by the community. All of them are significantly smaller compared to the data sets that uh, the community is using for training state-of-the-art vision or language models. Um, and on another note, the diversity of data in these uh, data sets is quite limited. They include only a small number of object categories and you're restricted to a handful of variations within each category. But why is that the case? The first reason is that 3D data wasn't as easily accessible on the web as language or 2D images. Um, and it was limiting the potential scale and diversity of data sets. But recently, we have seen a rise of 3D data availability uh, online. The other reason is that high quality 3D data generation was uh, once just exclusive to professional designers. But with the current technological advancement, uh, any individual is now able to create and upload high quality 3D meshes uh, using their smartphone. Which is why when these two constraints are uh, relaxed, we believe it's time to the for the community to pursue the dream of acquiring large scale diverse. Uh, 3D data. Uh, we have collected um, 800,000 um, 3D models from uh, 21,000 categories along with their corresponding text from online resources. And since the data is sourced from a large scale online platform, the diversity of the data collected is um, significantly greater than that of uh, previous data sets. And we showed that the diversity and scale of this data set improves a, a variety of different applications, such as semantic uh, segmentation, um, open vocabulary navigation in embodied AI, and uh, 3D generation. Um, now, 3D object data, we know that it exists in a multitude of formats, and that's why for Objectverse, we decided to only limit ourselves to a single uh, data source that offered uniform formatting. But there are numerous other resources that can uh, further enhance the diversity of objects. So we made a decision to elevate our approach. We introduced Objectverse Excel, which is a data set of over 10 million 3D objects. A substantial amount of effort was expanded in unifying the data formats, eliminating duplicate entries, ensuring successful rendering of textures and shapes of the objects. And the outcome of this extensive process is a grand enhancement in the scale and diversity of 3D uh, object data set, which results in an impressive 10.2 million assets. Our experimental finding uh, indicates that this scale up led to a notable improvement in the performance of 3D generation models and paving the way the, for, for future applications. Two of the projects that I discussed today uh, will be featured at the May CVPR conference in a few days. Um, I look forward to meeting you there and addressing any further questions um, that you might have.